Did you just go out and buy a AMD 6000 series Radeon GPU, perhaps even at scalper prices, and you're all excited to play some Destiny, and you get home, install everything, get all the drivers up, you get yourself all settled, and as soon as you launch it, it is nothing but a slideshow, nothing works, massive frame drops, totally unplayable. If you did, you're in the same boat as I was just a few days ago when I grabbed myself a 6900 XT at MSRP. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did very quickly to solve my problems and prevent and remove all of these stutterings, hitching, frame drops, core clocks dropping, right after a word from our sponsor. Just kidding. I don't have any sponsors. What is going on? It's Chris. It's been a while, I know. If anyone knows me, I've been uh, heavy into cryptocurrency mining lately, so my gaming ring has been uh, GPU-less as my 3080 was in my mining rig since about February. So when I saw the 6900 XT at MSRP, I bought it instantly. I was very, very excited to have it. I wasn't excited to have to do a couple hours troubleshooting though, but I think I figured out what is going on. I read a ton of posts about people having these issues where um, like I said in the intro, tons of frame drops. They cannot play Destiny. The shaders, if something's wrong with them, every time they hover over an item or an object or whatever, the core clocks will drop. That's exactly what I did. Hopefully this is a nice quick video. As you know, uh, me, if you watch in my videos, I rarely script my videos. I just don't have time for that anymore. So it's kind of just uh, information in, information out to uh, whoever watches my videos here. So essentially, First thing I did is I disabled the high precision event timer in my BIOS. Now I'm running a full team red system here. I got a 5600X as well paired with this and uh, I have an X570 Aorus Master. Usually you should be able to adjust this in the BIOS. If you can't, you can still do it in Windows. But in this case, I just went and I just disabled it globally. I disabled it in the BIOS and I disabled here in the device manager. The second thing that I did, probably completely unrelated, but it's the order that I did it, is I just went into services here. In the AMD user experience program launcher, I just uh, went to manual, stop. I haven't noticed any issues with it being disabled. It doesn't bother me, so I just left it disabled. Third thing that I did is I went to app data. I went to the Bungie. Destiny PC, prefs, right click on CVARS, open up and edit. Now because we're running the AMD GPU, this won't work. The NVIDIA uh, reflex low latency, it, mine was at 2 because that's what I put it at. By default it is 1. If you've never edited this file, it will be 1. I put it to 0 just to remove any type of conflict between AMD and NVIDIA. And the fourth thing that I did, which I believe is the solution here, is I went to my uh, performance tuning manual and I enabled all of these. That allows me to control everything. Now by default, this here was at 500. Now this isn't something you can control in Afterburner. I've checked. If you know how to control this in Afterburner, please let me know. But I haven't figured it out. This here is the minimum frequency your GPU should run at. Well, you know how in NVIDIA control panel, you can select uh, with a 30 series, you have normal, prefer maximum performance, or there's optimal uh, or application uh, preference or something like that in the power section. Well, this is not here in this AMD software suite. So this is the closest thing I could find. I see here my clock speed is 77, 18 megahertz. This is nuts. So when I'm gaming, obviously this is what's happening. It's dropping for whatever reason. So I changed this from 500 to 1001. Apparently if you put it over 500, it won't drop. And I tested it and it seems to work. But for good measure, these numbers may be different than yours. I kept it at 1001. And the other thing that I did is I just enabled uh, memory timing. That's for something different. Uh, power tuning. If you have rage mode preset, this is all that it does. It just drags your power limit up to the max. I just put it to 15%. I uh, adjust the fan curves here. I disabled zero RPM fan because I do like to keep everything nice and cool. And that was it in that section. I applied it and that was it. Now, of course, 
I do recommend going into your global graphic settings here. Bear with me, I'm still kind of new to this. That's been a long time since I had to navigate this uh, menu here. Global graphics, here we go. Enabled anti-lag, because anti-lag is the same as the uh, low latency in the NVIDIA control panel. You know, you have like on, ultra, off. This is the, uh, this is actually here first before that. So it's cool, fun fact. I enable that, everything else I turn off. Uh, where are we at here? Texture filtering quality, just like in the NVIDIA control panel, I put all this on performance. Everything I try to keep application settings. I try not to force anything onto the application because I, the way I look at it is like the less things an external application is trying to do to my foreground application, the less chance of a conflict. I'm going to let my foreground application being destiny control everything. So uh, that's good. Okay, so tessellation mode. I believe it was AMD optimized. I just keep it on override application settings. Or sorry, use application settings. And that was that. Now under display, again, this is something I don't think it really does anything, but I have GPU scaling enabled and that's like, a, that's like an upscaler. If you have 1080p, it'll upscale it to 1440p. But since I run native 1440p, it should not be a problem. And I believe that's it. Other than uh, overlays, I disable hotkeys. I disable all overlays as well. I do not like any in-game overlays. I don't like any metrics, overlay metrics, nothing like that. It's just bothers me. Okay, and that is it for that. And that's all that I did. And this was after tons of troubleshooting. This was after tons of different driver versions. Now, someone suggested to run uh, AMD driver 20.4.2. Now that works for the 5700 series and below. So that would definitely work, but it would not work for the 6000 series because the 6000 series is not compatible with that driver version, right? So I had no choice. I had to figure out something with the most current, which at the time of this video is 21.5.2. So if you're on that version and you haven't made those little changes that I made, I recommend you do it because you never know. It may help you. Now, if you haven't watched my other videos yet with regards to Destiny 2 performance optimization, I highly recommend you watch those. The, the steps in those videos are still prevalent today. It'll help your overall gaming performance. In this specific video, it is, it is the... 6000 series that I'm talking about because there's a lot of information out there but it doesn't seem to be helping a lot of people I've seen they've gone through so many headaches so many different settings trying to figure out what is going on they've gone in their BIOS and disabled you know precision boost overdrive disabled SMT disabled uh, resizable bar I have all that enabled I have everything enabled nothing's disabled I have PCIe Gen 4 um, you name it I have it all enabled I have zero hitching or stuttering in Destiny 2 right now. So if these changes did in fact help you, please, please leave a comment on the uh, section below to let me know. That way I can pass this information around. Uh, I don't know many people with 6000 series cards, so I don't really have a user base to bounce it off of. But if you guys did in fact resolve your issues, I would love to hear about it. And as always, if you like this content, please hit like subscribe and consider sharing it with your friends but as always just you being here and watch my content is definitely definitely more than i deserve <laughs> anyways thank you have a good one and hopefully it is not too too long until my next video but uh yeah take it easy